Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines, where we're shipping goods and delivering profit to the shareholders, because our goal is to make as much money as possible. However, we have done most of the things we can with industry. We've got it all. So last time we looked into university campuses to see if we could, you know, exploit some student loan kind of schemes in order to get more money. And I think it's gonna work pretty well. In fact, I'm so confident about it, we've terraformed this entire mountain, and today we're gonna be turning it into the most prestigious university ever. So we can charge exuberant student loans and cripple people financially forever. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. Or, I don't know if you're not excited for that, remember to leave a like. <laughs> it's pretty dark, even for my standards. But hey, not my fault, it's just the system, baby. So let's get going. It's actually gonna be really fun building this campus because instead of, you know, causing suffering, <laughs> we're gonna try and make this look as good as possible. That's the big idea. Because if it looks good, people will pay more tuitions. So, we are going to be busy busy. First up, we got some of the big buildings in. We have the main admin building up on this hilltop. And we have all these main schools of sciences, medicine, and law in as well. And we figured out the public transport into this area as well. So it's like literally just decorating. But the first thing we really have to get in is a track and field stadium. You cannot have a super giant university campus without a track and field stadium. However, I don't know where we're gonna put it. It's huge. Uh, it's, yeah, a little busy, a little busy. I mean, trying to put all the main buildings on like, you know, hills and stuff, but this one, I guess, I don't know. We only have one more hill and it's over here. You know, but it almost fits. You know what? We're gonna terraform this and we're gonna plug it in. So we just even out all the terrain first. We plop down the building and then we make the terrain look nice again. It's usually how I like to go about things. And then later on we add in a bunch of trees, make it look all pretty pretty. And people and students will be like, wow, this place looks amazing. Here's $200,000 even though I'm 19 years old. <laughs> okay, I'll settle down. Happy little Bob Ross slots today. Let's just get in some nice parking lots. Oh wow, that fit in beautifully. And once we get all the decorating done, that's when we'll focus more on the profit mode of stuff. But that looks very good. In fact, perfect almost. Good, so track and field is in. Also over here, we have this science center. And you know, there's some unique buildings and I'm pretty sure there's like an observatory. And we have to include that. Yep, gotta be the case. <laughs> It's a little ridiculous though, because this science building over here already has an observatory, but now it has two, so that's like, wow. Most universities don't even have one of these. This one has two. <laughs> How prestigious is that? But now for the rest of the campus, let's get started with some dormitories. Gotta have a lot of these, because obviously we gotta have a lot of students in here. 16,000 eligible students, ready to enter. So we gotta give them places to stay. So down here by our poopy ocean, we will put the student dorms. And for the students, we're gonna kinda just pack them in like sardines. We just want the numbers up, baby. That's it. But I guess we can at least make the dormitory area look a little cool. Yeah, like having these buildings face each other so there's like a little courtyard in each one. It's kinda neat. There we go. So that's like some kind of pattern. And you know, it's a double-edged sword making the dormitories boring because if the dorms are boring, that means the students will go out places and spend money, which is exactly what we want. Now, where would they spend money? Well, right beside here, you should have some kind of stores, like corner stores, fast food joints, all that jazz. So we need to zone up some stuff. This was commercial. Then we have this entire space in the middle. And I guess we'll just have a hangout spot? Or we could have an outdoor study. Huh? Huh? Wow, that is the most boring looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Never mind. How about instead a custom fountain area? Yeah, look, we have the fountain there. This is surrounded by stores again. That's decent. And after painting a little bit of concrete around, we add in some picnic tables. That's great. Everybody will run to the store, grab food, sit here, and spend money. Or party. Do whatever they want. They're students. Not a care in the world. Oh, and then over here we have a huge chunk of space. If we have all the students here, they go buy stuff, and then they could go somewhere. Do we have other sports arenas we could have for the university? Pretty sure. So we have football, American football. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's a bit much. It's, it's a bit much, maybe not that. What else do we have? Baseball, <laughs> no. Uh, basketball, that's kind of cool. Why not aquatics? Sure, 
swimming. It's a prestigious university. Prestigious people love aquatics, right? Sure they do. Totally. And the last thing is just we need to give them some parking. So we'll just have a big parkade right in front of the monorail station. And there is going to be like, like lots of public transit, like the monorails, we'll have buses, all that. But people will still have cars, right? So there they go. So that's pretty good. And then I'll run back here and detail it after. Again, there's going to be a lot of detailing in this episode. So we're going to go over areas, give some rough ideas, and then I'll give it another pass, maybe off camera. So moving up here now into the bulk of the build. We have a lot we gotta throw in here. Gotta throw in bookstores, cafeterias, gymnasiums, libraries. It's very important. So libraries are probably the most important. So I definitely want one central. And then a few others would be nice. Maybe one over here. Kind of like on the cliff edge. Yeah, there's the monorail there, but maybe we could just move the monorail. And then one more. Ah, that one fit in really nicely, didn't it? We could, yeah, it makes sense to have Three libraries? Really? Well, there's like a school of law, uh, science, and medicine. Yeah, there's like a library for each of them. Sure, we're, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Other things though, uh, cafeteria is an super important, gymnasium. You know, logistically, I don't think it really matters. We're just gonna try and fill in space. Make it look busier. Make it feel like the students are getting their money's worth. See, like that looks really good. Get the happy umbrellas. Have this here. Parking lot would fit in perfectly if we have one that's the right size. Which we pretty much almost do. <laughs> we'll make it work, don't worry, don't worry. What else do we have to deal with? Aside from libraries, I suppose we're gonna need a lot of study halls. You know, for people to actually learn stuff. <laughs> Learning in university. Yeah, okay. Throw one there for now. Take a look at it. Laboratories? It's a pretty big building. Maybe we put a laboratory here? That might be better. Uh, bookstore, oh my gosh, bookstore. Yes, we need one up here. We need another one down here somewhere, please. I don't know, I'll make it work. You know what? Goodbye dorms, more bookstores. Bookstores where the profit's at, baby. That looks good. Looking busier, looking busier. I wanna have a media lab. That's a neat looking one. Fits in perfectly right over here. Yeah, just that tree's gonna get kind of <laughs> wrecked by the monorail, but that's okay. Oh, and auditoriums. We need dozens of these. Well, as many as we can really fit, because that's where all the classes happen. Could we fit one in here? We could fit one there. How's it look? It's a bit of a <laughs> weird shape, but we could stack the shapes together to make it look a little bit more interesting. Yeah, you know, it, it's cursed because it's clipping, but it does look pretty good still, right? I think so. We're gonna keep that. Oh, and we have this whole area over here. Four more. Auditoriums, right by the bus track too, so that's perfect. Laboratories, we got that. Bookstore, we have that. Media lab, it's right there. 100% we have to have one of everything, at least a chess club. Where could we put that? Well, we have the science center over here, so this could be like Nerdland. <laughs> sure, we'll put the chess club over there. Maybe a little statue for them, I don't know. What would the nerds be by? A study hall, where's the study hall? Thematically correct. And for the most part, that was everything we needed. So I just went and did another pass, just adding in as many other buildings as we could. We've got a math club over here. We have a futsal club, little building behind the cafeteria. And another laboratory, statues in between the universities, some extra parking lots. Little details here and there, which we're gonna have to have so, so many of. Groundskeeping. And then there's this hill over here which is pretty big and important, and I, I didn't really know what to put here. There's a commencement office, though. And I thought that was kind of cool. Like, people graduate, they can do their commencement stuff up on the hill, and all the students will gather up, park here, gather up here, da-da-da. All happy, all fun, maybe. We might change this, it looks a little eh. But for the most part, we have the right idea going. Next up, though, there's gonna be people that work here, right? Like, not just students are gonna be living here, but there's gonna be people working in the cafeteria, the teachers, all that stuff. Faculty. And we have this little cliffside area, which will turn into a faculty living space. So we'll give it a key here. Chill out on all of these intersections. And just zone this with residential. It's like a normal elementary school, high school. Shopping and the works. And I think with that, we have pretty much all of the stuff we need in, like the functional stuff. Now, are we going to make a profit? 
uh, well, right now it's not looking good, so it couldn't get any worse, right? Totally. Let's activate all of the monorails. Power is in. Actually remembered. Did I remember the water? Oh, I did it. I did it. I learned. <laughs> Very proud of myself. Leave a like for that. You know what? Leave a like for that. Learning at the university. Okay, though. What is our profit looking like? You know, just losing 30 grand. All right, the students are coming in. That's cool. We've got 1,600 people already scooting about. Oh, the institution's unrecognized. So we unlocked everything in the last episode, but since this is a new campus, we have to level it up all the way again. All right, fine. Give the people money. There you go. It's fine, fine, fine. Just have your universal education, okay? Fine. Just gotta level this up for a bit. We'll get money in no time. Don't worry, don't worry. It's like that famous equation. Build university, question mark, and profit. Wait, but actually, how did we already start to profit? We're up to $300,000. Is that just from something else, hello? We, are we making money? No, we have universal education. Uh, no. You know what? Let's turn that off then. Look, we're making money, we're not in the red. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, and the sports stadiums. These actually can earn us a decent amount of money too. Everything's gonna be great. Uh, for the meantime, we gotta wait for this all to level up, so I suppose we will start to detail things. Which for the most part means millions and millions of trees everywhere, 100 trees across the land. Gotta love trees. And just for giggles, how about an actual custom park as well? Like not even a slumland either, like a nice normal park for people to enjoy. Cause you know if I'm going all out just this one time, we're gonna have a park. A really simple and basic one mind you, but it'll be nice. You know, throw in some restrooms here. Have like a little park booth, stuff like this. And heck, even a couple cafes in here. And we can have nice green space, throw in a nice little playground for the kiddos. Look at the rainbows. And we'll just spam up trees everywhere else. And lastly, we are going to make this park free to the masses. Anybody can come here and enjoy it. It's gonna kind of be like the free lunch kind of principle. People will come to the park because it's free and they'll drive through the advertisement, which is our university campus. Driving through here, they see how nice things are and be like, wow, we should send our kids here. And hey, to be fair, the university is gonna be good. The kids will learn something. <laughs> that debt is eternal. <laughs> okay, went through another pass, decorated a bit more, changed some things up a little bit. Add in a couple more tables so people can enjoy things more. Found these beautiful purple trees, which I love and I wish I could use more, but we will see. They're a little too nice for the rest of the city. And then I went through the rest of the dormitory district, adding in the rest of the details. Extra trees, extra little public spaces for, I don't know, stuff to be done. I added in the rest of the paths for here. A couple random picnic tables. Uh, decoed this area a bit more. A couple more tables and stuff like that. And it is done down here, guys. All the trees are in. And it's looking really good. It's looking about as expected. Now we just have to do everything else. Oh, but first, this. Got a way better idea for this area. JK, it's not an idea. I just found another building that looks really, really cool. It's a grand library or an academic library. It's technically a tourist attraction and not actually part of the campus DLC, but bud. Does it not just fit perfectly in with the rest of it? Yes, it absolutely does. So that will be there. And then where do we move the commencement office? Well, the rest of the area is pretty busy and we can't just have a commencement office just in any random block. It doesn't make any sense. I guess this is kind of the only option. Just on this cliff side. Sure, I can make that look better. Maybe move a crematorium away from there too. <laughs> that might be a good idea too. And maybe the firehouse too. Okay, yeah, now a couple little details here will make it look great. As is usually the case. And in fact, I added in the little details kind of everywhere. And by details, I mean all the trees finally. And adding in a couple more custom park areas too really adds to the aesthetic as well. Like a little statue by the library. This area overlooking the cliff, move the rail line down so it's not in front of the library, which is a good move. And I even got another purple tree in down here by the chess club. I love it. And I'm happy to say that every other square inch of this area is complete, except for one. Of course, any high-class university has to have a little something spooky. 
where absolutely nothing weird happens at all. It's just some rocks, just on the hill. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Actually, better yet, pretend you never even knew about it at all. Okay, one last little deco pass, and this is done. It's beautiful, majestic, and better yet, we are about to be a prestigious university again. And look at this, we're actually already profitable. Not by much, a mere $43,000. But once we become a prestigious university, tuition goes up, baby! So let's see how far we can take this. So what's happening? Well, we got our academic works, that means we leveled up. We lost a couple students, whatever. Attractiveness, super awesome. Reputation level, prestigious! And tuition fees are 21 bucks per student. And exchange students pay even more! Excellent! So what's gonna happen to our margins? Pfft, immediate $30,000. And we're going up still. <laughs> this is good. Dang, in fact, this is one of our better investments as well. Ooh, and we can start saving money. No more money for staff, we got our reputation. Policies, advertisements, sponsorship deals. Do we need advertisements anymore? Probably not, but hey, a couple more ads won't hurt anybody. Now let's just give it a couple minutes here because now that we're prestigious, more students will join and our profits will go up even further. And by the way, I knew you guys were gonna mention it, but we added in a toll booth here too. Kinda ruins the free lunch concept, but I just couldn't resist. Oh wow, and that didn't take long at all. We're already back over half a million dollars a week in profit. And the numbers keep going up. Very good. And once we eventually increase our population as well, <laughs> Things are gonna get crazy. However though, that's gonna be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye